in the heart of New York City, where the pulse of life never slows. A massive transformation is underway, one that promises to redefine how millions navigate the city each day. Picture an aging structure, weathered by decades of relentless use, struggling to keep up with the demands of a modern metropolis. Beneath its facade lies a story of grit and resilience, a critical artery pumping life into the daily commutes of countless travelers. Yet this vital hub, once a symbol of progress, now faces an undeniable truth. It is no longer equipped to serve the bustling city it was built to sustain. Now, imagine a vision of the future, a gleaming, cutting-edge facility rising amidst the skyscrapers, embodying innovation and sustainability. It's not just a place to catch a bus. It's a bold statement about the city's commitment to efficiency, design, and environmental stewardship. Today, let's delve into the $10 billion revamp of America's largest bus terminal. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The Port Authority Bus Terminal, located in Midtown Manhattan, is one of the most iconic and heavily used transit hubs in the United States. It is the busiest bus terminal in the world and the largest in the United States, handling over 260,000 passengers and 8,000 bus movements daily on a typical weekday. It serves a critical role for commuters traveling to and from New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and beyond. The terminal spans 1.5 million square feet across multiple levels, housing 223 gates, retail spaces, and other facilities. The Port Authority Bus Terminal was conceived in the late 1940s as a solution to alleviate congestion caused by buses unloading passengers at scattered locations throughout Manhattan. Designed to centralize inner city and commuter bus operations, the terminal became a groundbreaking achievement in urban transportation planning when it opened in December 1950. To accommodate increasing demand, the terminal underwent a major expansion in 1979 adding a north wing and boosting its capacity. The expansion was intended to future-proof the terminal for growing commuter needs, but rapid urban growth quickly outpaced these updates. The bus terminal has long been criticized for its inadequacies, including outdated infrastructure, overcrowding, and poor passenger experiences. The terminal was originally designed to handle 60,000 passengers daily, Today, it operates at over four times that capacity. Overcrowded gates, long wait times, and chaotic passenger flow have become routine challenges, particularly during rush hours. Much of the terminal's infrastructure is over 70 years old, with minimal upgrades since its 1979 expansion. The terminal is plagued by structural issues, including deteriorating concrete, outdated ventilation systems, and inadequate technology for modern transit needs. The terminal's aging and congested facilities create significant traffic bottlenecks in midtown Manhattan, affecting the surrounding neighborhood's livability and economic vitality. Given the terminal's challenges and importance, its replacement has now become a top priority for the Port Authority. The new midtown Manhattan bus terminal is envisioned as a state-of-the-art transportation hub Designed by renowned architecture firm Foster & Partners, the project promises a blend of functionality, aesthetic appeal, and sustainability. The new terminal will expand its capacity to handle over 1,000 buses during peak hours, compared to the current 850. It will feature advanced passenger amenities, including streamlined boarding processes, real-time scheduling information, and improved accessibility for people with disabilities. A striking glass atrium on 41st Street will serve as the terminal's primary entrance. This architectural feature aims to create an open, welcoming atmosphere while allowing natural light to flood the interior spaces. Approximately 3.5 acres of publicly accessible green spaces are planned. These areas will include landscaped parks, walking paths, and recreational zones to enhance the quality of life for both commuters and residents. The terminal will incorporate retail outlets, dining establishments, and office spaces, generating economic opportunities and creating a vibrant urban environment. In an era of environmental consciousness, sustainability is a cornerstone of the terminal replacement project. The new terminal is designed to achieve LEED certification, 
reflecting its adherence to green building standards. The terminal will use zoned heating and cooling systems, heat recovery technology, and on-site renewable energy sources to minimize its carbon footprint. The construction process will employ low-emission machinery, recyclable materials, and waste reduction measures. By enhancing the efficiency and appeal of bus transit, the project aligns with broader goals to reduce reliance on private vehicles and cut greenhouse gas emissions. The replacement project is structured into two primary phases, with a projected completion timeline spanning nearly a decade. Phase 1 will be carried out from 2025 to 2028. The first phase involves the construction of a five-story bus storage and staging facility between 9th and 10th Avenues. This facility will temporarily accommodate buses while the main terminal undergoes redevelopment. The staging facility is designed to minimize disruptions to commuters during construction and will later serve as a permanent support facility for bus operations. Phase 2 will be carried out from 2029 to 2032. The second phase focuses on demolishing the existing terminal and constructing the new 2.1 million square foot facility. This phase is the most ambitious, involving extensive coordination to ensure minimal disruption to Midtown Manhattan's bustling activity. Upon completion, the new terminal will redefine the commuter experience, offering enhanced efficiency and modern amenities. The $10 billion budget for the Midtown Manhattan Bus Terminal Replacement Project underscores the scale and complexity of this endeavor. Financing such a massive project requires a multifaceted approach involving public and private stakeholders. A significant portion of the funding will come from the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey's capital budget. The agency has prioritized this project as a cornerstone of its infrastructure agenda. Federal loans and grants, including contributions from the Federal Transit Administration, will play a crucial role. The FTA's approval in late 2024 marked a critical milestone in securing federal support. In addition, New York officials announced the city will commit 40 years of future tax revenue, which totals as much as $2 billion, from three potential new commercial developments to help support the cost of the bus terminal replacement project. Partnerships with private developers for retail and commercial spaces within the terminal will further alleviate financial pressures on public funds. This replacement project is poised to deliver significant benefits to commuters, businesses, and the local community. The new terminal will drastically reduce wait times, streamline bus operations, and enhance overall travel efficiency. Advanced technology and modern design will ensure a seamless experience for the millions who rely on the terminal daily. The project is expected to create approximately 6,000 union jobs during construction, providing a boost to the local economy. Upon completion, the terminal's integrated retail and commercial spaces will generate long-term economic activity. The addition of green spaces and modern infrastructure will transform the surrounding area into a more vibrant and livable environment. This revitalization aligns with broader efforts to reimagine Midtown Manhattan as a forward-thinking urban hub. By encouraging public transit use and incorporating sustainable design, the project will contribute to New York City's climate goals. The reduction in traffic congestion and emissions aligns with the city's vision for a greener future. Despite its transformative potential, the project has faced criticism and challenges. The $10 billion price tag has raised concerns about financial feasibility, especially in the context of competing infrastructure priorities. Critics also point to the potential for delays, given the complexity of construction in a densely populated urban area. Residents and businesses near the terminal have expressed concerns about noise, congestion, and other disruptions during construction. Balancing these concerns with the project's long-term benefits remains a challenge for planners. Some advocacy groups have called for greater emphasis on equity and accessibility in the project's design, urging planners to prioritize underserved communities and ensure the terminal is inclusive for all users. The Midtown Manhattan Bus Terminal Replacement Project represents a bold vision for the future of urban transportation. By addressing long-standing issues with the existing terminal, the project aims to create a world-class transit hub 
that meets the demands of the 21st century. Its emphasis on sustainability, design innovation, and community benefits underscores its transformative potential. While challenges remain, the project's successful completion will mark a milestone in New York City's infrastructure development, setting a precedent for other cities grappling with similar challenges. As construction begins, the world will watch closely to see how this ambitious megaproject reshapes the landscape of Midtown Manhattan and redefines the commuter experience for millions. What are your thoughts on this megaproject? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.